Now, this is something that we've done for the past year or two, and it seems to work pretty well. Uh, the minute you come home with your fresh cut Christmas tree, before, even though you're excited and you want to bring it inside the house and you want to put it inside its tree stand, right. we've instead put it in a bucket of water and we've left it there for 24 hours to just kind of give it well, one that's big... Kind of, that's kind of a new twist on it. You yeah. like it? It works? It worked pretty well. Our Christmas tree looked great up through New Year's Day, and we probably could have kept it longer, but we're like, you know, let's not push it. Yeah. But it, it was great. It hardly had any needle drop. Wow. And it felt like that helped. So you just, li- outside, you shoved it yeah. in a bucket of water Get a and big, let it You sit. know, if you have one of those like gal- bu- yeah. galvanized tin okay. or something like that, uh, maybe you have one of those kiddie pools or something, but you want it to have like at least a gallon of water. Okay. And you let it sit there for 24 hours and believe it or not, it will absorb a lot of it. That's it's just, great. I didn't just, know that. Yeah. I mean, I just, I didn't either. We... Just we're researching and finding different ways and uh, other things that we do. Of course, you still need to add water. You, and you still have to trim, you know, the bottom yes. inch, inch or two off. And, yeah. Oh, know, by the way, sort of, you well, are. I'm Eric Strong. And I'm Cindy Dole. And Christmas listening. tree expert Eric Strong. <laughs> listening to Home Wizards. So, yeah, we're just talking about ways to now, once you have purchased your, your fresh cut Christmas tree, we want it to last and last and last. Yeah. Well, now, what do you think about the additives? Well, I know that a lot of the people, especially our friends tied to the Rose Parade, yeah. will give us different theories, you know, because they're all about putting those roses in plastic vials that have to now live, you know, for and many do they, days. do they put business in their water? Some of them do. Oh. In fact, there was a time when they exclusively put in 7-Up because it has the sweetener in it. Because, you know, just like when you buy... Oh, the sugar helps. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So the, the gist is you want it to have some kind of antibacteria and some kind of food. But the reason why the Rose Prey people stopped doing the 7-Up in the vials is that rats would come in because no. picture, picture all of these floats that are almost done before New Year's With Day. With a bunch of rats wearing sunglasses and drinking straws of 7-Up. I can't <laughs> think of anything worse. It's terrible. <laughs> They're just sitting there just and they're sitting there sweating and they're like looking going, What? I'm I drinking know, seven up. I know. And they're sitting there they're doing a little bit of a, a mambo jumbo yeah, dance they're, too. They're, they're you kinda... hear the <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Rats. Anyway, so um I like the idea of adding a little bit of a sweetener and a little bit of um uh, aspirin. So that's something that I've done. Yeah. Um you can try. Um But in your own home you're not gonna get rats probably. You're not you know, you're not no. gonna get you know, but um there's certain different kinds of sodas that have a good blend of both uh-huh. you know, the bubble and the, the sweetener. So sure. I know. that's interesting. Um, but the key too is to replenish the water. So once you've given it that twenty four hour bath yeah. and now you put it on your nice, you know, great tree stand, you wanna make sure you're gonna have to water it every day. Yeah, you don't realize how fast that that stuff evaporates, especially too, if you've got your tree near the sun in a, a sunny window or a heat vent somewhere in your house. I find there's a vent right by the tree, and I just cover that one in plastic because it doesn't have the ability to shut off. I just tape plastic over the top. I don't really see it, and then that keeps the the heat from blowing directly on the tree. Mm-hmm. Seems to work pretty well. Very important because yeah. that heat is going to like completely parch it. Dries it out in no time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's so putting it in a cool area is key, and then also you want to make sure that if you take a look at the lights, it's not only just you know preserving the water and whatever you add to the water and the location, but the lights themselves. If you have um, high, really high, hot. He, uh, lights, right? That'll sure. kind of take some absolutely. of the moisture out. Interior air temperature and quality is going to absolutely affect how long that tree is going to stay moist. I mean, the word is that these new LED holiday lights, not only are they cheaper and less uh, fire risk, but because they uh, use less heat, yeah. they are not going to dry the tree out as Sure. Quickly. I mean, you don't realize that those little light bulbs on the old Christmas trees, man, they used to really, you know, throw a tremendous amount of heat. And I think, you know, they definitely had to do some some electrical changes on the wiring of those things to make them burn cooler because they were setting trees on fire. Pretty bad news. Yeah, bad news. Um, other things, because we're talking about everyone has their own like family, you know, recipe or things that you can do. Right. Uh, but remember too that buying later is not going to help your tree live longer. We were talking about that earlier, but it's like buy now because there are no more shipments coming in. Right. And you're better off getting your tree and taking care of it, you know, so that it is happy. Yeah. You're going to get the right amount of water in it. You'll have the, you know, the the positioning will be correct. You'll enjoy it longer. I think we forget that, you know, you're dropping 60 to 125 bucks for a tree generally. Why not use that 
longer. You know, have have the season of the tree in your home a little bit longer. Get the tree now. Good idea. Good yeah. idea. And just remember, we love the idea of putting it in, in the bucket. I mean, yeah. it, um, it, there's several websites that are, several tree farm websites that are saying that that's really great to have it for the 24 hours, you know, in a bucket before you bring it in. So then, let's say we, you are, you now have it in the tree stand. You have decided what you're going to feed it or not. You're going to water it every day. Um, you're going to make sure that it's away from the major source of heat, fireplaces, furnace, sunlight, right? right. Don't forget that. Yeah, Absolutely. Um, and the temperature of the water used to fill the stand, while it's not, it's not important overall. It doesn't affect the water uptake. I still prefer to try to have a little cooler water. I got, and here's another thing I have to tell you. I think it's very challenging to fill the Christmas tree up with water. And mm. I've, you know, I've done many things. I do little cups, whatever. It all spills. It, it gets the skirt wet, or the hardwood floor underneath, whatever your flooring system is. I really think one of the most effective ways to fill the Christmas tree is to just run the hose into the house, mm-hmm. have a buddy, it's usually my kid Wyatt, you know, and I say, okay, turn it on, he turns it on, turn it off, it's turns low. it off. It's low to the ground. It's low to the ground. It, it, it keeps the water really specific in the base. It's not spilling on the side. As long as you get that timing right, I think it's a really efficient That's a good way to idea. Do it. Yeah. And especially you'd have the power off. It isn't like the, uh-uh. yeah. yeah. Good idea. Give that a shot. Um, and I think that, well, you know, a lot of times when you drill a hole in the base of the trunk, a lot of times people will think that that will help ooh, like push oh, more of the oh, water up. You mean on the side, like core the side a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, but, good but, idea. but the idea is apparently the word is that that won't necessarily improve the water uptake, even though you, you know, you think, I mean, you want to have that. That part of the uh, the trunk cut off, sure. so there's a fresh, you know, fresh skin, if you will. Right. But a lot of times we've done this where we put like almost like an X mark or an additional hole. Yeah. And that doesn't necessarily speed up the drinking. Yeah, I think just the bottom cut off when you buy it is enough. Yeah. That's it. Turning off the lights when you leave the house or when you go to bed, not only will that be more fire safe, yeah. but just that heat, giving it a, a break is going to help the tree Stay fresh yeah, longer. Yeah, I think so. Put it, at least a timer. You know, you can enjoy it at night until maybe midnight, and then it shuts itself off. You know, it's mm-hmm. a good way to go. And inspect the uh, the light sets before you put them on the tree too, because if they're if they're worn, that could also cause some problems in terms of safety for sure. You know, as well. Yeah. And uh, in terms of keeping your tree looking fresh. But I do like the LED bulbs. If you haven't invested in them yet, you should get them. They're, they'll last forever, and they don't throw heat, and they look just the same. So give them a try. I haven't gotten those yet. Yeah. I'm going to have to give that a go because, you know, you, you hear about how, well, they have a, almost like a bluish look now, some of yeah, them, right? which is kind of Very pretty. Vibrant. I mean, if, if you want the traditional big light bulb, colorful thing, they don't, I don't think they go, they're not as as pretty as the old style lights. But but the new LED, if they're white and you're just going white Christmas lights, that's a great way to go. Okay. Yeah. Now, more ideas to keep your tree, you know, looking great throughout the holidays. Anything else that you do in terms of making it just, you know, feel pampered? I just, just decorate the heck out of it, make it look like <laughs> fancy pants. That's all. Um, you know, you might want to also, you know, by, by the time that you've watered it and you're checking it every day, just make sure that, you know, that when you do go back to the that the fresh cut base that that that's going to cause the base to seal and and you know while you have the while the water is standing water don't let the water ever go below where it actually is cut right so it's one it's one thing that you don't want it to be that 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 end cap will seal up again that's the thing so you want to have it full but it's also you don't want it to go below because then it's going to like release some of those juices and it'll close off the sap and then it's done yeah that's it. the sap will basically create like a glue like a wound it covers yeah so don't do that anyway we'll put all these web ideas on the website as always at yourhomewizards.com eric stromer cindy dole you're listening to home wizards Place the flowers in the vase that you bought today. 